about a half hour ago, I pull I pulled myself out of a fucking, a, a fucking like mental trip, like some some horrible like brain shit that my, my brain was thinking. I, I would, like, notice that, like, I entered, like, violent thought patterns again, and, like, it, it was just gonna, it was gonna take me nowhere but, like, just a horrible crash and shit. So, uh, like, like, uh, this ability to pull myself out of it, um, is something I've, I've been getting better at. This, when, so, I'm, I'm able to, like, pull myself, um, out of these, like, patterns of, like, fucked up thought. It doesn't, and it doesn't always work. Um, but I've been having more success with it. Um, fucking, Vriska, yeah, I was just, I was just thinking, like, a bunch of, like, really horrible, violent shit, and stuff like that. So, um, oh, fucking, I, sometimes I don't even know how I do it, but, um, uh, yeah, like, no noticing it is, is the first important thing, but, like, uh, and it's not a it's not a willpower thing. Willpower doesn't really isn't really gonna like save you from it. You have to have like a you have to like a, like acquire like this like a skill set and like um and and the thought patterns that that'll like that'll be able to combat like like violent and bad thought patterns. So so stuff like uh, like if I when I remember that like people like don't really choose. Like to be bad or whatever, like the like the, it's just that like it, it's um it's against it's against their will that that people are that people are bad and also like uh like bringing bringing like really fucked up shit into the world um isn't gonna like the, this whole like this whole like revenge thing about like you know, making like fucked up people pay or whatever it's not really it, this is this is just this is short term shit this is this is like baby shit right. You can't you can't have your revenge and save the world at the same time. And if you're if you struggle with like mental illness and like really messed up thought patterns, your brain will convince you that yes, in fact, uh, these these two have like intersection in this like that's not the case. Um, when you want if you want to make your life better and you want to make the world around you better, you have to be able to like separate these things and be able to like stay for the long term. You have, you have to develop thought patterns that can, that can combat, like you have to have thought, positive thought patterns that can combat like bad thought patterns. Ignoring it is literally impossible because like, it, like your, your violent side is, is like a part of you, right? It's no less a part of you than like, than just being like all good and happy and shit. Um, fucking. But um, I, I've had a, I've had a, I've had a, I have a history of um, of, of mental illness and like uh, and like deranged thought patterns and shit. And they they've only gotten they've only gotten worse as I've gotten older. Like a, like when when I was when I was a kid, I like I had violent thoughts, but I was like more hesitant to like. To, like hurt people like there's like there's always like an inherent feel of, like, fear of like oh shit if I hit them and I don't hit them hard enough they're gonna get be really mad and they're gonna hit me even harder so it's like it, like don't don't even like don't even try or whatever but like at a certain point in time uh, I realized that like um I realized I realized that my that my ability to like defend myself um has different has varying levels of like tangibility so it made so at a certain point in time i realized that my ability to like inflict violence and shit wasn't just like wasn't just a fantasy that it was like that it was all that it was real but it was also like um i sometimes i have no um i, I don't have the ability to know how like strong i am and there's been times when i've like beaten people in a fight there's been times when i got horribly got my ass horribly fucking kicked in fights um i find i can definitely say i i lost if it if the if i ever if i ever was in a fight it was definitely when i was um 13 years old and uh, i got my fucking arm broken two places from a kick <laughs> um fucking but to be but be on track on like my, my kind of uh, history of like having mental illness thing. Uh, I, I remember the first time like I 
really uh, like uh, my my mind really convinced me that like that like I was gonna commit violence or whatever was when I was eight years old. I was at I was at like school and shit. And uh, this one this one kid said something off to me, like he he was just like condescending to me and shit. Or at least my brain um like was my, my it was it's hard to, it's hard to tell at this point. But like from this guy's like um from this one this one kid's uh, like behavior towards me and the way he talked to me, I could only really perceive this as like condescension. And I didn't perceive this from everybody else. I usually with everybody else, well um I usually like. Uh, gave them the benefit of the doubt of being like good people and stuff. Uh, at, at least this is what my, uh, my my perception of what I used to believe is like now and stuff. It could be it could very well be wrong. It could very well be full of shit. But um, for some reason this this one kid he was like um he's like he was like taller than me. Probably yeah, definitely definitely older than me. Probably like a few grades uh, above me and shit. Um, did I mention I was eight years old? <laughs> um, and he, yeah, he was like, he had tan skin, maybe he was like Hispanic or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I, it just during recess, I was like, I was like, you know what? I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end all of this. So I made like, I made a, I made a fucking, like during that recess, I made a fucking like knife out of fucking sticks off the ground. And I was convinced, yeah, I'm just gonna stab this guy to death and I'm gonna go to jail and shit <laughs> and so like i walk i walk behind him like all menacing and slow it's like this is it am i really gonna do it and then he turns around and he's like huh and then the teachers are like what are you doing and i'm like oh nothing and somehow i didn't get in any trouble for this somehow i didn't get into any fucking trouble for walking up behind some kid like fucking michael myers with a fucking with a fucking knife made out of fucking sticks I guess it looked like- I guess it was such- like, the way it was was just such bullshit that, like, it wasn't even worth considering, like, me being a threat. Like, I was so, like, small and, like, pathetic and fucking, like, clumsy and fucking goofy that nobody even, like, vaguely took me fucking seriously. So, one way or another, yeah, that is a fucking- is really good that I did not get in trouble for that. Um, but, um, I, I think the, the, the earliest I can remember of, like, being filled with, like, with, like, dread from something is when, um, is when I was, like, fucking five years old and I, com and I contemplated the idea of, like, never being born. Like, what would it be like to never be born? What would it be like to not exist? That shit filled me with such, like, emotionless, like, horror. Like, it, it's, it scared me, but it also, like, left a feeling of numbness. Like, the very thought of not being real, or of being in, like, purgatory, or being in blackness, or, like, being a, being a ghost. Like, just being, like, just being a spare soul, or whatever, was just very horrifying to me. I don't think I, uh, I don't know what the fuck I believed before I was, like, before I was six years old, but I remember, like, I remember Christianity and, like, God being, like, introdu introduced to me when I was, like, five, like, five or six. I don't even know what the fuck I believe happened to you after you died. I think, I think I believed in ghosts. Like, I definitely believed in, like, like ghosts and shit before then. But it, um, I guess I never really thought of, like, um, what happens after you die so much before that point. Um, let's go fucking but yeah my like my aunt and my like my mom could like told me and my um my my two siblings that yeah that uh, that god that god's real and something something jesus blah 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 and we we were given bibles and stuff like we were given like kid bibles that showed you all like the cool bible shit like fucking noah's ark and fucking um like uh david and goliath and fucking, um, like, uh, I think Adam and Eve or whatever. It's like, all, all the fun Bible stuff. Not the horrible, awful Bible stuff. About, like, fucking people getting, like, raped. And awful, horrible shit. You know? 
So at that, um, during that, after like learning that, I always like, I was always fucking paranoid of, after that point of like being watched. This, I think this made me like, I, I've always been insecure about like sexual feelings. Uh, even like, even like in, even like in like teenage, even in my teenage years and like early adulthood, even like I've been like I've been embarrassed as and like insecure as fuck about anything like related to sex. Like I tried, try I tried a bunch of times. I tried convincing people that I was like asexual because like I didn't like I was afraid of like people knowing what I felt and shit. It was like just and I'm still I'm still insecure about like people knowing what I feel, but um. My, the I think the way I coped with it a little bit is like making a joke out of it, like making a joke out of like my sexuality sometimes, or like just to, just to kind of like get comfortable with like the thought, yeah, like sex exists and it's all wacky and silly. It's better better for it to be wacky and silly than it for it to not be exist and like shut myself out. But still, um, but yeah, like I. I think, yeah, I think I was, a, I think I was sexually attracted to Britney Spears when I was a kid. I can't tell. I can't, I honestly can't tell. I, I might have been. I think, I was definitely, like, attracted to, like, like, older ladies. Like, not, not grandmas, um, but, like, yeah, de definitely, like, MILFs and stuff. Like, uh, like, to, to me that, like, to me that makes sense. It didn't even occur to me that, like, that like um that people who are like my age or younger or like yeah that people like within my like age group could like be even like romantic partners or whatever because i didn't i didn't even look at them until like until like um until like i started going through like puberty and stuff and started recognizing oh wait yeah girls exist <laughs> like uh for yeah for, i i I, for the longest time, I didn't even realize that girls existed. It's weird. Like, a, I, my brain just perceived them as being alien. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, yeah, I'm auti I'm autistic. If you can't tell, yeah. I've, um, so yeah, like, un understanding like the emotions of other people. Not that like I I have empathy and stuff, but like um, uh, and uh, and I care and I care for people a lot, but um. I have, yeah, I have to, I have to, like, I have to, like, take a fucking second and, like, listen to people and truly, like, understand them and, like, watch them in order to, like, understand them. Because, like, my brain, like, my brain, like, hears, like, a little bit of shit and then it makes up, like, the, like, the rest of stuff. Like, um, like, my, like, that's, that's the way that my brain operates. I don't know if anybody else has that, but, um, like, I, I take, I get, like, a little bit of information at a time, and then my brain, like, has to do, like, a, like, my brain does, like, a lot of work filling in, like, all the gaps. So, uh, oh, so, so, yeah, that, that, that's, that's what causes, that's what causes some problems. This, this, this is good for certain, for a lot of problem solving, right? This is, this is really good for a, a lot of, like, abilities to, like, like gain to like gain reason and, and like learn things in like very creative ways like you, like getting just a little bit of shit and then making a lot of stuff out of it and having it be applicable this is very this is extremely useful and this is ability that not all, a lot of people naturally have um but uh, this but this does land me in trouble when it comes to like uh, under when it comes to understanding things that are like that that are like kind of beyond that are beyond my grasp in the in the current moment because like I do it's impossible yeah, like I don't I don't know everything and um well nobody knows everything uh intel intelligence is, is an illusion yeah, I'll make it in a video I'll make a video on that as well um but uh yeah that 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 land that lands me in trouble with the ladies because uh, uh, and it, and I, I have I have been like sexist before like inadvertently because of because of that thought process. People are gonna people are gonna be like, oh, male feminist, blah blah blah. I kiss my ass. It's it's true. Like, uh, what what the fuck else would I like? Was I was I like, uh, oh, this is this, this, I don't know. Like, like did I, I I've like I've dehumanized women. 
like a, a bunch of fucking times. That is not a Chad move, you guys. That is definitely not a Chad move. Um, so, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I've, I've, uh, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna make another video talking about like my like sexuality and my like experiences and stuff. But yeah, ba basically, I'm like finally getting into like the point of my life where I can like like understand like a like a sexual romantic partner and stuff like that where like I, I think I like have the ability to be ready for that there's st there's still a lot of bases to be covered but um oh yeah yeah let's go um but I, I went I throughout like throughout um third grade fourth grade and fifth grade I was in special needs classes I, I remember when I was I remember when I was 10 years old when I was 10 years old it was the first time I like contemplated suicide like I started like actually having suicidal thoughts because like seeing like seeing every day be the same uh, and like being in being in like special needs classes being like in, in like a tiny tiny fucking groups like my, my classes were like fucking four or five people max um while i was in like while i was in special needs classes and i didn't get to like interact with them um, with non-autistic kids very often um I, i've had experiences like being around like uh, very low functioning autistic kids and it was like it was like kind of horrifying to me, like because they would like wail and, and scream and shit and like make weird noises and um, stuff like that. I have a higher understanding of of it now. Uh, during in the in the time, it was very unsettling. Fucking oh, Frisco, my fucking thought patterns. <laughs> um, fucking. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, just the, the thought of like, yeah, this is never gonna end. They've, they've, I've basically like trapped in this fucking like prison forever. This like mind prison, never able to get out. Uh, and I, I, all I want, all I ever wanted to do was just like be able to like express myself in front of a bunch of people and like, and, and like entertain people, get feedback from people, and fucking like be able like be able to make friends be able to I, I wanted to be able to like understand people and not feel like I was a like fucking psychotic mess and I didn't get that and um even when getting out of those special needs classes I didn't get that either because um like I was uh there are people like like uh, like teachers and like um like staff like did a lot of things like when 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 I was going into middle school, like the, I th they were trying to they were trying to keep me in like um, elementary school for like an extended period of time. My fifth grade was still elementary school when it should have been middle school when I should have been um like around like peers and shit. I think I think if I I think if I wasn't in special needs classes, I think I would have done like way better. I think I uh, this is this could just be speculation, but I think I would have been like like mentally just better because I would have learned how to how to interact uh, in a, in like in a better way around people not not necessarily that I want to be like that I want to be like normal um I, I'm very I'm very I'm very uh, like happy about being like an like an outlier and like the in like mental thought processes and, and stuff and like communication style but um I would have liked I would have liked to yeah be around normal people to like kind of like under understand like social etiquette which is something that I've that I've like slowly grown over the years and with no with no help from fucking teachers so much um, that that's not that's not entirely true I did get there's someone uh, in in high school I had a special I had a special needs teacher. Um, who's who's very helpful to me? She's very understanding to me. Um, but yeah, f for the most part, it was it was just like it was just hell, kind of. Like you, you, in middle school, like the in middle school, the special needs shit didn't end. And in high school, the high in high school, 
it went oh it went away more and and high school like high school was the time i could finally fucking flourish socially like uh, i was bullied in elementary school i was bullied in middle school i was only bullied a little bit in high school but really it was like just baby shit everybody like i mostly got respect from people people like still thought it was weird but like they were but they were entertained by it and that was enough for me like, people didn't really understand, like, all the shit I was saying, they, but they were, like, entertained by it, and that's, I think that, that was, that was enough for me, that was, I finally fucking felt like I belong, and, um, after, after high school, for, after, for all the bullshit that I went through in it, um, like, I, 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 I was, like, um, I was nostalgia. I had nostalgia for it. I had I had serious nostalgia for it. I still do a little bit. I remember for a while after high school, like I, I graduated in 2017. I still had like I still had dreams where I was in high school. I still listened to like I still listen to music that I listened to during high school, like um like Lil Peep, like li listening to him makes me very nostalgic for for 2016 and 2017. Vrska. So yeah, and um, uh, and uh, continuing this, uh, I remember like um, uh, when I first went on Discord, I had I realized going on Discord made me realize like how bad my social skills were. I was able to get like the I was able to get like really like extreme feedback from Discord. By being around a bunch of like fucking assholes who didn't understand me, and then like and, and then understanding why they they wouldn't understand me, and understanding why my fucking um my my demeanor my my mannerisms would be like kind of like like offensive and grating on people's nerves because um I I real I I realize from people yeah that I that like when I get overly passionate about stuff I yell a lot <laughs> like I'm a, a like I'm a loud motherfucker this isn't necessarily um. This isn't always a bad thing, but uh, you want to have volume control when you're talking to people, or because um, uh, the, the micro microphones, like the way that Discord compresses audio, adds gain to the audio. So it's like if you're yelling, it's like really like it's fucking it's insane. Uh, it's like fucking beating the it's beating the fuck out of people's ears and the, they can only handle so much you know and especially since i'm such a i have such intense fucking energy you know and i i've a, i've and i i had i have the ability to adapt my voice a lot like i've realized like how malleable my voice is that i could um it, and I, I still do I still do get loud when I get excited about stuff, but it's not as bad as it used to be. And I and I can and like um, noticing it, I'm able to like I'm able to control it for like a while. I think I was I forget if I was like overly loud in this video, but um, also yeah, sometimes like in Discord when you're like when you're you might not even be yelling or whatever but if you raise your voice slightly it just like it's a blare and like a motherfucker because of the automatic game control but i think if i get like a good microphone or whatever it wouldn't be so bad um but yeah let me think oh yeah 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 um and also like finding other people like on discord who also have mental illnesses who also have like really bad thought processes and shit some people are some people i've talked to have like borderline personality disorder some of them like i i've i've talked to some people who are like legitimately like psychotic or like um or are like um, like sociopaths or have other like shit that's really that's really messed up about them or whatever like learning to like understand them and shit and understand like where they're coming from and like learning like uh, why they think the things they do or, or yeah just listening to them and understanding that like understanding that i that my brain contains this like bad shit and i'm not just like this this good fucking person like i i'm very much a fallible person i would like to be i would like to be a good person i don't want to be a bad person i don't want to align with something that would make me like irredeemable but some people don't really have that luxury some people are like trapped inside an infinite like loop of like of violence and madness and there's an, like it's unclear if there's any saving them like god doesn't know if they 
if they can be saved for a scope. But, um... Uh, I I'm gonna make it another... Remind me to make another video about, like, uh... About, like, uh... Borderline personality disorder and shit. For the scope, because I want to make that as well. Um... Fucking... And, and realizing that, like, other people, like, have this shit inside of them, like, like, sobered me the fuck up. It was like, wait a minute, whoa, like, take, take a, like, I gotta, I gotta, it, it makes me take a step back and, like, realize, like, all the, all the shit that I, that, like, I was, that I was feeling. Like, it really gave me a window into, like, what the fuck, uh, like, I was, like, what, what the fuck I was feeling. Cause, like, um, yeah, Sometimes when you think you don't have feelings, when it's like all blank, it's just because your ability to perceive that is like, is like fucked up. Like your, it's like your your brain is blind to your heart and shit. So you have feelings, but you don't know what the fuck they are. But um, I, and there's this guy, a uh, healthy gamer, GG. I think I've shouted him out a bunch of times. His his YouTube videos, his channel is like the is probably one of the greatest YouTube channels there is. Like I, I've watched so many of his fucking videos. And like he has he has really good advice. Most importantly, the most amazing thing about him is honestly his ability to listen. Like his like his listening ability and his like non like judgment of things is like is like unmatched in a lot of ways. And uh, um and he said that he he doesn't wanna be like like a like, he doesn't think he's a genius or anything like that. Um, and the, the thing is, like, you, you, um, I, I like, I, I want what he has to be, like, replicated with a bunch of people. I want to, I want to learn, like, what, what he has, and I want to be able to help people that way. And be able to, like, like, be able to help myself with those, like, mental thought processes and shit. The, the guy's, the guy's really brilliant. It's very admirable. Um, what else? Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I've, I've made, I've made videos as well about, like, my, uh, while I, I've made videos while I was in really psychotic thought processes, and, um, yeah, this guy, uh, part of, part of me is, like, doesn't want to go up front, like, uh, about it, like, part of me, like, fears that, like, if I start, like, talking about, like, the psychotic shit that I go through, that, like, it, other people will, like, that that will be inside of other people and make them psychotic that's i think that's that's uh, that's a train of thought that i have that's also like really damaging this keep that keeps me from like being able to like to like come out about what i feel so i think being like i think being comfortable with the fact that i have like these fucked up thoughts and like being able to being able to trust like other people that they'll be able to like understand like what the fuck I go through or whatever, uh, and, and like yeah like kind of like having having faith in people that they that they could like understand if I break it down for them that way instead of just being the like a psychotic person who's all alone and shit like I don't I don't want that I I want to be able to like do better and shit so uh, yeah yeah I, I pulled myself out of like some psychotic shit and I realized that there's like there's like phases the way that like uh, that I like my episodes go through and shit and I like realizing like how those, those phases work realizing how to like wait them out realizing um um like how to how to combat combat those thought processes and like what what I can expect to like feel afterwards I think is, is real something really good um yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna link my, my other videos where I was psychotic in the, the, the description below. I'm also gonna list the, I'm also gonna link the footage that I used for this video and the, like, the music in the background. Uh, this, uh, and, uh, I think that's, I think that's all I gotta, I think that's all I gotta say. I think I wrapped this up pretty good. I, my brain's all scattered, hard for me to, it's hard for me to, like, um, get my point across in a linear way. But I think I, I think I did alright. And I want to make more videos like this where it's just me talking about um, just very, very in-depth subjects and shit. I think that's a, I think that would be very popular with the ladies. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's all I got to say for now. Uh, hey, I'll, I'll see you guys.